Welcome, everybody. We're going to begin now showing a full integration of using the Oasis platform with Alma. We're going to be logging in on the one hand to the Oasis interface, where we're going to be conducting a search. We're going to find a record which we want to order, and then we're going to see that order get created in Alma. Now, the advantage of being able to do a workflow like this is it prevents me from needing to do double ordering or double actions in two different systems. I also don't need to set up an external search profile, meaning I don't need to have to search from within Alma, find a record somewhere else, import it, and then create an order. I just go into Oasis, I find my record, I fill in my order information there, and everything is done already for me in Alma. And this is done according to profiles, which are preset for me in the Oasis interface. So without further ado, let's begin, and we'll see how this works. So every institution has either a username and password for their institution in Oasis or per acquisitions administrator. So I'm going to log in now with the user that I have for my Alma University, which is the demo environment that I'm showing this on. And simultaneously, just so I can show what's happening on both sides, I will also log into Alma. It's not necessary in the real world to be logged in on both sides to Oasis and Alma. I simply want to show what's happening on both sides simultaneously. And now we're logged in on Alma here, Alma University, regular March release, and Oasis. Okay, within Oasis, I can search all of my existing orders, which I've already ordered through Oasis and either already have or have not been sent to Alma. We can talk another time about why an order might not be sent to Alma, but I can set up a profile in Oasis that under certain cases, I do not yet want the order to be created in Alma. And if I want to see the existing orders that I've already created in Oasis, I can click here on search orders invoices, and then I have standing orders and firm approval orders. In our cases, we're dealing here with the firm approval orders, a self-explanatory screen where I can search by words by ISBN, title, author, etc. And this is going to bring me records that I've already ordered. Now I'm going to choose search all titles and I'm going to choose something brand new, something I don't yet have in Alma. And we're going to create the order. So again, it's a self-explanatory search here that we can do keywords, ISBN, title, author, etc. And let's search for library science in the title field. Now exact, of course, would be I'm looking for that phrase. Library science would be words search. And I think with our audience here, we don't need to go too in depth uh, as to how to conduct searches like this. So now it's searching the Oasis database. It's not searching anything in Alma. And what I'm doing now essentially is saving me the need to go into Alma and do s make sure that I have an external search profile to Oasis, find the record, copy certain information in. And here I have my results. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we want to order. Uh, library automation and computer science. Um, quality management in library and information science. That looks like a nice one. Let's make sure, just for our demonstrative purposes, let's see if I already have this in Alma. So I'm going to Alma, and I'm searching for that ISBN. And we see I do not have this ISBN. Do not have it right now in Alma. Just to be 100% sure, perhaps I have it in a different format, Perhaps I have it with a different type of inventory. We're searching for qualitative management in library and information science. And, ooh, look at that. I just might have it. Let's see. 
quality manage no no these are by words we'll search by title just to be a hundred percent sure and we do not have it so now we're going to create this order in oasis and we're going to see all of the information for example not only the bibliographic but also the price information will be transferred automatically to alma which of course saves me the need to do a search external resource find the price information decide who's my owner of my purchase order line which fund am i using etc so the first thing i'm going to do is choose order info and fill in my order info now, on purpose here, to show what's going on, I'm manually filling in the owner, which will be my main library, the quantity I'll leave as the default one, and I'm choosing my fund LIS. I could, however, as you see here, save this as a template and save this as my default template, and then every time I come in and I do order information, it's already filled in for me, and then I don't need to do anything but I wanted to show that I have the options. Now these options are set in advance. I'm gonna click save order info for this title. These options are saved in advance with Oasis. So Oasis is in touch with the institution, gets the library codes, the fund codes, et cetera. Loan type would be the equivalent in Alma of the item type, item if it's gonna be a one week loan, two week loan, et cetera, and save order info for this title. Now it's saved. I could do this now on several different types of order, several different records here, fill in the order information, and then for whichever one I want, I choose mark for ordering, right here, mark for ordering, and it says now order. Every record now that I have done order information and then mark for ordering, such as this one, I could do it on another one and another one, I then choose process list, checkout orders, create firm orders, and process. Right now, it says thank you for your order, progress can be tracked, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right now, as we speak, an API is creating that order in Alma. It's creating the bibliographic record and the order the order including the price information, the fund that I have as my default in Alma, the owner, the purchase order line owner, and if I want, also the item status. In this case, I chose main. I could say one week loan, two week loan. I could say leave it blank, etc. So I'm getting all of that information automatically coming in from Oasis. In one moment, we're going to go look in Alma, but before that, I can see, as we said at the very beginning, by searching firm approval orders, I can see all of the orders which I've already made. And if I search here, library science or the word library in the title, I should see now the order that I just created. I'm still in Oasis, and there it is, quality management in library and information science. I can do various activities down here. Depending on the type of order, I can cancel it. I can view the order information. I can view the title details. I can even view the mark record. But all of this information, these are full mark records we're dealing with, by the way. All of this information is going to be created inside Alma. And all of the further work that I do with Oasis processing this order will also be recorded here. In a moment here, we're going to see the actual mark record. There we go. Title details here. Uh, and let's take a look now in Alma and see how and if this record has already been created. The if, of course, we know it will be created. The how we'll see together in a moment. And the record is already created. As you see, it took, what, less than a minute probably. And the record is already created. Now, this is the bibliographic record we're looking at. You see it created one item in the main library. You recall one moment ago when I created the purchase order line, I chose owner main library. And let's take a look at the order. As you know, I can go to more info and I can go straight to the order. You see that an order was created. I could also have, as you know, 
gone right into the order line search and searched here for quality management, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here, too, I see it. Now, it went into auto packaging because I have my institution set up that when a order is created and the order is approved, it goes right into auto packaging. Now, here we see the major time-saving features. It automatically chose for me the vendor and the vendor account, in this case, Coots. It already chose the fund, library, and information science, because if you recall, when we were in Oasis, I chose in the pull-down box LIS as my fund, library, and information science. It automatically copied the price information in here, 2250 Great British Pounds. Let's take a look a little more closer here. And let's take a look. Here's my Coots material supplier, which was all automatically chosen when chosen from Oasis. If we look now at this fund, which we chose inside Oasis, I'm clicking it to easily navigate right to my fund. We can see also that the local currency was already encumbered on this fund from the 2250 Great British Pounds automatically it's already encumbered i don't need to do anything here it already went automatically into my workflow my workflow defined that if there's an order as you know in alma we can set up purchase order line review rules based on price based on vendor based on other parameters either it will go into review or not go into review here it goes right through the flow i have nothing blocking it and we're ready to continue on so let's take a look at the bibliographic record. I'm going to click on the title here, quality management, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and a link right to the bibliographic record. So here's my RDA, by the way, an RDA record. And you can see here that it was created by the new order API. So I'll always be able to see the history of it. And we can see also that it was created today. It happens to be March 12th. Uh, at 11.15, I must have gone into Oasis at 11.14 because it was created right away. So here's my full RDA bibliographic record. Thank you very much.